Hello everyone, Basil Chapman on this Wednesday, the 2nd of February. We're looking at the Dow up 10. It's been all over the show. It's been up to 35,507. It's been down to 35,290. Now it's at 35,419. Looks like a little doji candle. I'd say to subscribe to my opening call. Expect some kind of digestive session today. Uh, we're going to see what happens uh, after 1.30 if the Dow's down minus 30 or more. It says, hey, just a, a kind of consolidation. Uh, but if it suddenly comes back and has a really strong close. That's impressive. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, it is in a buy signal. It hasn't confirmed the buy mode yet. We're looking at the S&P uh, because of the earnings yesterday uh, with, uh, was it Alphabet, Goog? Um, a really a fantastic move up. And it went all the way from up 30. Now it's only up 16, up 14, in fact, in the S&P. So we're looking at the strong resistance coming up in the 4590s. If it breaks above that by Friday, that's really impressive action. But I think we're in a digestive phase on the down uh, on the um, upside here. We're looking also at the QQQ, which of course has been influenced by the uh, the, uh, the earnings reports. But now it's only up 90 cents at 366, and this is telling me that this is the the whole aspect of what we're looking at here is very selective bounce that's unfolding. Uh, there are certain sectors like the semiconductors and the queues that there's just there's just too much damage that's been done. It needs time to repair. Just think of it that way. Uh, IWM, Russell 2000, very weak, down two and a half at 200. Now, gold is really trading in a range. Now it's up 8.6 at 1810. I think it's stuck between about 1820 and 17, uh, at this point, 1790. And we'll see what happens there. The dollar has pulled back really sharply. And uh, as a result, I think that it, do, it should be helping gold a lot more, and it's not. So the dollar, dollar down 22 ticks at 76.04. Crude oil, we're going to be watching this because crude oil is now down 43 cents. If tomorrow into to a Thursday, into Friday's close, the dollar breaks under 86, it's in a short-term consolidation. Short-term, maybe I wouldn't call it intermediate term, but a, a short to a slightly longer-term consolidation. You saw natural gas really spike to the upside. Look at that. Up 0.63 at 5.38. They often change places, and that's exactly what's happening here. And you're looking at bonds, James Bonds. Uh, 142.70, up 98 cents, just stuck in a range. Yields are stuck in the higher range. The uh, bonds are stuck in the low range. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento, Thicker Swim with Kevin Hanks, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and then Tom O'Brien. And happy birthday to the little tiny Tommy O'Brien. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Check out my opening call. Daily newsletter.